translate phrases into algebraic expressions. Here we have five more examples for you. And these are number divided by six, ratio of a number and seven, quotient of a number and eight, nine divided by a number, two-fifth of a number. You'll notice one thing that what we are doing here in common, we are using symbol division, right? Since this is all about division, which we can write like this or like this or even a straight line where we have something in the numerator and something in the denominator, right? We say A over B, for example. That's division, correct? Now, let me remind you, whenever you are dividing, the top part is called the quotient, right? So, the quotient is the top part. Remember that. Now, keeping that in mind, let us translate these phrases into expressions. So, first step for us is what? Yes, define the variable. So, let number be, what do you want that variable? Let's say let the number be A, okay? I'll use the symbol A this time. So, we'll say let the number be A. So, A is our number this time. So, when we say number divided by 6, that means A is divided by 6. That is one way of writing. You could also write this as A divided by 6 or also as A divided by 6. All are correct ways of writing this sentence. Number divided by 6. Do you understand? So, that is an algebraic expression. We have a variable. We have a symbol and a constant. So, by now you must have got the idea that when we say algebraic expression, what are the three things which are in it? We have a variable, right? We have constant. Constant means numbers, right? Constant numbers. And we have symbols. So here the symbol is divide, correct? So that is a page for divide. So next, and what we do not have is no equal to sign. Don't put equal to sign, okay? Second one is ratio of a number and seven. That means number and seven. When we say ratio of a number and seven, number com comes on top. So it is A is to seven. That is how we write ratio. Or it could be written as fraction. A over 7, right? Both are correct. So, ratios can be represented as with colon or as this. Next one is quotient of a number and 8. Quotient means you are dividing that number by A. That is what it means. So, the number is A for us, A divided by 8. That is what it means. Quotient of a number and 8. That means divide the number by 8, okay? 9 divided by a number. That means 9 is now divided by the number A. Correct? So that is A and this is 9 for me. 9 divided by A. Correct? So this symbol is a symbol for division. So we have these three symbols for division. And the last one here is 2 fifth of a number. So 2 fifth means 2 over 5 of a number. Of is multiplication actually. So of a number A, right? So you can also see or read this as twice a divided by 5. So multiplication is kind of division, right? Or you can say division is also multiplication. So, so that is how we can write this phrase in the form of an algebraic expression. Now this video is very important for you to understand. Division, how we translate phrases uh, using the symbol division, okay? So, there is sometimes a confusion. Try to understand the words quotient, for example. Quotient means the numerator, right? As we have written here. So, let's go through this once again. Number divided by 6. A divided by 6. Clear. Ratio of number and 7. So, number comes first, right? Number, ratio, 7. Number, division, 7. Quotient of number and 8. So, quotient is the numerator. A divided by 8, 9 divided by a number, that's very clear. You could also write this as 9 divided by a number A, okay? 2 fifth of a number, 
2 over 5 means 2 fifth of a number means times a correct so that is how we can translate such phrases into algebraic expression as a reminder algebraic equations algebraic expressions should not have equal to sign if you put equal to sign it becomes algebraic equation okay not an expression remember that thank you